that was great. Um, so I'm Mark Anthony Thomas. I lead the Greater Baltimore Committee, and I had the pleasure of hosting this conference last year when I was in Pittsburgh. And so I'm going to talk broadly about different brands that I've been involved and the lessons I've learned as far as how to engage stakeholders. And so about 20 plus years ago, um, I served as a corporate partner on the Brand Atlanta campaign. Uh, then I moved to New York and I was a publisher when we were branded an investigative journalism magazine that covered New York City's neighborhoods called City Limits. Um, I worked for New York City Economic Development Corporation and we branded their economic work around key industries like cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, life sciences. Um, and I most recently was the head of Pittsburgh's Regional Alliance where we created the Nexus Now brand purely to grow awareness around Pittsburgh's industries in the innovation economy. And so first, the big challenge you're gonna face when you're trying to get stakeholders, they're gonna bring all of their perceptions of places, um, and this is primarily for economic development and talent attraction audiences that are, are shaped in pop culture. And places are part of our lives in all these different stories and in ways that people think about cities and regions and states. And so I'll give a few examples. So I grew up in Atlanta, and the amount of people who've told me they understand Atlanta based on the TV show will shock you, right? And so that gives you a sense that people are shaping their perspective based on what they see. I was literally talking to a site selection consultant who told me they saw this Kristen Stewart film that was shot in Pittsburgh, and they had a better idea of what the livability aspects would be based on that film. And so you literally have to then respond to those type of perspectives. Um, and there's this great film, it's been a few years working in Los Angeles, that depicts how LA went from being a set for all films to really becoming such a complex city that it became a character in all the movies moving forward. And so it tells you that places really matter in how we depict the stories that we tell in them. I will pick on New York a little bit, um, New York is so fortunate because it, the stories that are told about New York cover every part of life, from poetry and literature to TV shows now that show black professional women thriving in Harlem. Like that is what we have to compete against when we're trying to brand our places as a place that is comparable to the success that they see played out in culture. And so for you know, so for our tourists, for investment, for talent, you know, as I said, that you have to compete with that. Um, equally important, and, and I feel like people have referenced this throughout this, uh, the last few days, is we also have to account for people who've had their own testimonials, especially if you're a market where people have migrated out of, that you have those people who've moved to other places who may not be ambassadors for that place. And so you have to acknowledge that maybe you left the region or our city because the economy was depressed when you lived there, or it may not have been the most inclusive environment. You have to really be able to be responsive to that. And so here are paths to success. And this is when you're starting to say, okay, I have my companies, I have my businesses, I want to build people supporting a campaign, right? There's a great TED talk that talks about just the danger of the single story, that there's no one way to really tell one story that captures the complexities of our markets. And so you, you definitely need multiple stories. And so there are four key things I want you to think about. You have to select specific audiences and branding messages for those audiences. And I'll give you a really good example of, one of some of the work that we did in Pittsburgh. We, Pittsburgh has a known identity as a robotics hub. We're very intentional in telling the stories of how companies were investing in Pittsburgh, how founders were investing in Pittsburgh, how you can come to Pittsburgh and experience the ecosystem around robotics, right? And so we applied that approach to all these different areas and it's been fairly effective as far as creating a brand identity outside of the historical things that Pittsburgh was known for. The second is be very intentional and creative. A lot of default thinking will say we need to do advertising. That's just one piece of the overall brand development. And so make sure that when you're talking to companies, 
and you're talking to people who will be funding your campaigns or your work, that you really say, look, we just know we want to reach an audience. We'll figure out the how and be creative in the ways that we do so once we start to flush out the KPIs. The third is build a coalition of people who are really committed to your target audiences. If you want to go after diverse talent, if you want to go after women entrepreneurs, whatever it may be, really only create a space for those people who are committed to that audience. Um, and fourth, invest long term. It's not a quick turnaround. I mean, you're trying to change perception. You're trying to establish a, rep uh, a reputation for something that will take time to really take hold. And so be very intentional in communicating just the long-term nature involved. So I'll talk a little bit about Baltimore. Um, how many of y'all are familiar with this image? You have to be of a certain age. <laughs> so this is the game SimCity. And this is literally the perfect city if you play the game, where you build a city from scratch. And in some strange way, it's like Baltimore. Um, but as you know, Baltimore is another place that has been depicted in pop culture in all the ways that it has. And so part of what excited me in taking this role was how do you change that? And going back to the danger of the single story, if you've been a place defined by one story, all of the opportunities to rewrite that history are the things that I was excited to challenge myself and build a whole community around. And so last year, my organization merged with our Economic Alliance. Uh, two weeks ago, we set out a multi-year agenda that includes creating a new brand for Baltimore. And so I'm excited to actually take all that I've learned and build hundreds of businesses that are all impacted by the challenging brand that the city and the region face to really start to change that narrative. So thank you. <laughs>